asks, do you guys know if DTS HD master format boosts bass considerably as opposed to Dolby? I noticed my SBS PB3000 subwoofer distorting slash bottoming out mm. when watching Interstellar or Oppenheimer in that format. Possibly. Possibly it's a, you know, we, Chana and I know that Dolby has uh, limitations as far as how loud you're supposed to submit the content, right? And um, what is it? Minus 18, is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. Minus Love 18 that. LUFS. Maybe DTS has a higher one. Um, Reverend Slim can attest to this that depends. Uh, are you, do you have a Denon or Marantz? Because if you have a Denon or, Denon or Marantz and you have your LFE, your subwoofer set to zero dB uh, trim, gain, whatever you want to call it, on the AVR. And if you have a target curve that's not theirs, if you know you ran Odyssey and it's automatic, then you're fine. But if you put in your own target curve, it's possible that you could make that signal clip. So we usually recommend having it set to minus 6 dB, I think is a sweet spot. So you have some headroom if you apply your own target curve. But you may be experiencing some digital clipping. Um, check to see if it's actually, you know, your subwoofer distorting or, or if it's digital clipping, meaning like if you, if you turn it up, but then turn down the gain on your subwoofer, mm. see if you hear distortion coming from that. Cause it may, it may just be digital clipping that you're hearing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. And if you want some cool tracks to play, um, you should definitely check out the, uh, spatial audio calibration toolkit, go to yeah. spatialaudio.com yes. and, yeah. um, Play that LFE track on the um, crossover section. Boo! Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Boom! boom Don't do boom. that. Yeah, do that. And then, um, uh, speaking of DTS, real quick, Elon has been all about IMAX enhanced. He's like yeah, been wanting that on what Disney Plus or some of the yeah. yeah. Well, we were at CES two years ago, and we stumbled in because of my um, good looks and charm. We stumbled mm -hmm. into a meeting room. Hard to believe. All of the heads of the uh, company there, and mm -hmm. uh, asked the guy, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna roll this out." Mm. And a whole fucking year and a half goes by, and nothing's happened. So when is it coming out? May fifteenth. May fifteenth. If you have a compatible, what is it? AVR streaming mm -hmm. device. Yeah, dude, the streaming planets service. have to. It's like the the eclipse. The planets have to align. For mm -hmm. you to get this thing on May fifteenth, and let's and see it'll what be happens. on what Disney Plus. What is it? Disney Plus. Yes. Disney okay. Plus. Disney Plus. And IMAX uh, enhanced. Yeah, IMAX enhanced via DTS or something like that. What is it called? Mm -hmm. It's a big old long name. Uh, but yes, I should also mention um, when when he was mentioning DTS, that wasn't uh, IMAX enhanced, was it? Because no, we we know that that changes the crossovers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On your AVR, like it just doesn't abide by what you have set. Like it lets yeah, it's just something else. Okay. All right. Make sure to check out our audio only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi fi, or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for daily hi fi.